What's up YouTube, Erod212 here with a haul video. I know it's been a little bit of time since I put out a haul. Just been a little busy. Got a bunch of books backed up here that I want to share with you guys before I put them away and catalog them. Um, some variants that I picked up recently. Uh, love the cover here. This is the uh, Dazzler number no. one, the Bill Sienkiewicz uh, one in ten variant. I think he's he's been doing some great covers. He did the uh, Walking Dead covers now. They're recently the variants and they're really nice too. Uh, another one I picked up there was Ant Man and the Wasp number two, and this is the uh, Mike Diodato one in twenty five variant. This is uh, Pepe Larraz's Young Guns variant for number one, uh, Black Panther number one. I, I like the Young Gun variants. It it's actually, uh, you know, Marvel started these and then DC kind of followed suit in, in doing theirs with, you know, just a little corner box on the side. Gives you a lot more room for the artwork. Uh, big fan of them. Uh, also picked up the uh, Yasmin Putri one in 10 variant for Black Panther. I just like the cover. Matina has been killing it. So, uh, his cover here for Deathstroke. Number 32 is just beautiful. Uh, like I was talking about Sienkiewicz before. There's his cover for Alpha. For Walking Dead 180. Uh, that looks really good. I like it. It looks like you a know, big piece of meat on the face. I think he did a nice job on that book I haven't even read and I just basically bought for the cover was Hawkman number one uh, Stefan Sedgwick uh, variant I just love that cover thought that was some great great artwork you know DC's got a good marketing play right now they're hiring top artists to do their variants and just great great artwork on the covers and you know there's a lot of us out there in the communities that collect these books just for the for the art certain covers I'll buy just for the cover book I read and buy for the cover is Flash and I mean, Matina has just destroyed it on this the next two issues look awesome but Flash 48 is probably my favorite Matina so far just love that I bought two copies of it uh, hopefully if Matina's at New York Comic Con this year I'll get one of those signed Tyler Kirkham is still killing it in his Green Lantern. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corp. That's great, Hal Jordan. That one's for you, Marky. And, and the one that really picked up some steam I really liked a lot was the uh, Warren Lau variant. Uh, he's done some great, great cover work there for Green Lanterns. I just love that. Uh, Mark Brooks killed it with Detectives. 982. Uh, I bought two copies of this just because I'll probably try to get one of these signed in New York also. So uh, I, I was fortunate enough to get uh, tickets for all four days. So I'll be hustling my ass off getting autographs and stuff. Uh, you know, just doing my thing there. I can't wait. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 799, the second print. I picked up all the second prints on this run. So uh, Black Panther number one, the Archer variant. Not the Virgin, but still a great, great piece of art. Uh, this is the only variant I picked up from this whole lot. It was uh, Amazing Spider-Man 800. This is the John Romita cover. I loved it. Loved it. Just, you know, it's classic Romita. With Gwen Stacy, so had to have it. And I got it for cover price, so for cover price I'll take it. Even though that book was pricey as hell, I mean, I, I, I can't, with all the variants they put out there, how could anybody try and put a set together? Uh, another book I want to try and, and get a copy signed at New York Comic Con is this. I just love this. I mean, his run on Batman is one of my favorites of all time. I think he's one of the best Batman artists out there. Uh, Jim Lee's run there, and this is Justice League number one uh, by Scott Snyder, but just love that Batman cover. I got two of them, so that way I can get one signed. Hit the local flea market this week. And, uh, it was good. Wasn't bad. No complaints. Bunch of dollar books. And, you know, some nice finds. Giant Size X-Men. Marvel Milestones. Uh, you know, $10 book all day long. 
You know, five, ten dollars easy on uh, eBay. Gen 13, number one. This is the second print. This is the uh, Alex Garner and... Is this Alex Garner? No. No, this is just the second print variant. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 666, the variant. Need that for my run. Gen 13, number five. This is the Will Portacio and Alex Garner variant cover. And, you know, when Gen 13 came out, they were putting out a, a, a ton of covers for each issue. You know, people were scrambling all over the place to buy them all. There's still some that, you know, garner a little bit, you know, the Rolling Stones cover and a couple of those other ones, the Brady Bunch cover. They still garner some value. Found this, I was happy to find this there. Uh, X-Men, sort of the Braddocks. Very nice, you know, it's always a sought after book. And these were my key finds over there. Um, walked by a vendor and he had, I, I, you know what? Um, he had these, he had a bunch of dollar books and stuff like that, but he had four books in cases. I had never seen these cases before. Oh, let me see if I can grab one of these. Basically, they were in something like this, they were in this, and it pops open. I like them actually. And the cover comes off and you can put a comic book inside there. And these are wall mountable. I didn't know who made these, because there's no, uh, no information on the back. But uh, if anybody knows or has seen these before, let me know because uh, it's a good cheap uh, option to hang in your books. These are a little scuffed up, so that's why I probably won't use them. But he had this in there. And that's Danger Girl number two. But this is the gold foil variant. And it's signed by J. Scott Campbell. Okay. But then I flipped it over just to make sure. And it is an authentic with a certificate of authenticity by dynamic forces uh with its seal these are all in the original bags i can't change the bags out because it's got the dynamic forces seal it'll rip it destroy it if you do um these were numbered to uh this one was numbered to 2500 it's the gold foil variant signed by campbell and he also had this one here and it's danger girl the dangerous collection and this is book number one also signed by J. Scott Campbell. And these are numbered to a thousand. And also had the certificate of authenticity. So uh, I was very happy to pick these up. Been doing some research on it. This book here, in a 9.8, which this book is really high grade right here, has a GPA of over $100. So you don't see too many of them on eBay. So I'm uh, really happy to find these in the wild. You know, you never know what you're gonna find out there. And then uh, some recent pickups. Uh, picked this up on an online auction, Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. Picked up this amazing, amazing Batman number 134. Super, you know, golden age, 10 cent book. Um, the cover presents amazing. It has some tape on the back. It's the only thing. The, I mean, this book is super sharp for a book from, you know, the 1950s. Um, this will probably be in my auction. The uh, New York Warriors are going to be doing an auction this Saturday on the 23rd. So, uh, come on out. You know, it's always a good time. We'll have some good books. This will probably be one of the books there. Uh... You'll probably see these Gen 13 books on there too. And the um, J. Scott Campbell fans. Um, the Sword of Braddock will probably be there also. So uh, if you're interested in those books, uh, come on, come check out the auction. Those books will be up there. Um, something that won't be on the auction, part of my collection, I picked up a really nice copy of FF number 31 for a good price. I haven't even changed out the bag. Uh, super high grade, at least probably a 9.0 copy of X-Men number 99 and then I uh, got this from my LCS uh, he gave me a good deal on it you know always a shout out to comic book Jones and uh, got that there special Marvel edition number 15 of everybody knows first appearance of Shang-Chi 
But uh, I'm big on this book. I actually just got one of these signed at East Coast Comic Con. So this will be my third copy in the collection. But uh, anytime I find this for a good deal, I'm scooping this book up. It's still an underrated book in my opinion. I know TiVo's a big fan of this book. Uh, but I agree. It would be awesome to see him appear in... in uh, the defenders somewhere along the line, you know, just a quick cameo or something, you know, lead to a series a la what they did with the Punisher. But uh, that's my haul, you know. Thanks for uh, watching. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Um, please hit the like button if you like this video. If you're not a subscriber and you like my content, please hit the subscribe button and uh, leave comments. I always leave, you know, love to answer all the comments uh, left for us. And uh, again, the New York Warriors are going to be doing an auction on the 23rd, Saturday. I believe it's at 9.30. So check out Big E's and Manny NYC and, uh, you know, Jeff Johnson, the mayor, Mark 316, and uh, everybody else there, Joker, M21, and the guys. Um, you know, a lot of laughs. There's always something going on. When you got Manny on the show, you're always going to have laughs. And, and, you know, you get some good books out there at some decent prices. All right, until my next video, peace.